Hi guys, this is Mark with Brain Boost, and today we're going to be mixing it up with the thermodynamics of homemade ice cream. For ingredients for the ice cream itself, all you're going to need is one cup of cream. I found half and half works best. You're going to need about two tablespoons of sugar and some kind of flavor. Today we're going to be using triple berry jam. On top of that, you're going to need two freezer bags, one big one and one small one. You're going to need a whole lot of ice, a whole lot of salt, and a plethora of measuring spoons and cups and a mixing bowl to mix it all up in. Let's get going. Okay guys, so we're going to start off with our cup of cream. To that, we're going to add about two tablespoons of sugar. A little extra isn't a bad thing. And then on top of that, about a tablespoon of our jam or jelly or whatever you have lying around. Then we just have to mix it up until it's a nice consistency and we're ready to start making ice cream. So take your mixture and pour it into the smaller of your freezer bags. Try not to spill too much while you're doing it. You've got some chunks of jam in there, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Then what you want to do is seal it up so that you get almost all of the air out. You don't want too much air in there. Okay. And I spilled some right over there. Now we're going to take our smaller bag, place it in the larger bag. We're going to load it up with plenty of ice here. Then we're going to top off our large bag with cold water. Here comes the strange part. We're going to add a hefty amount of salt. Now you really can't add too much salt here. You really want to just keep adding until no more will possibly dissolve into your solution. When you seal up your large bag, again, make sure that you get up most of the air. This will keep it from popping when you get to the next step. So here comes the fun part guys. Find a friend, pass on the bag, and start shaking. You don't want to stop shaking it for the next 10 or 15 minutes or you're going to end up with a block of ice and not ice cream like you want. Let's drop! All right, so those guys have about a minute left. While they're finishing up, we're gonna talk a little bit about the theory behind making homemade ice cream. So as we all know, when we cool down water, eventually it freezes and forms a solid. Now, usually that happens at zero degrees Celsius, but by adding salts like we did to the outside bag of water, we can reduce that freezing point, otherwise known as freezing point depression. What happens is that when we cool down liquids, the molecules in them, which are bouncing and moving around wildly, wanna to get together and bunch up. But salts, like sodium chloride or table salt, get in the way of that and they prevent it from happening. This creates a super cold solution which allows us to freeze our cream. By continuously shaking the bag, we're not only preventing the growth of large ice crystals, which would give an unpleasant texture to our ice cream, we're also allowing the water to continue to circulate around the inner bag and cool it more effectively, otherwise known as convection. Speaking of which, our ice cream should be ready right about now. Perfect. So I hope you guys learned something. Enjoy your ice cream. Till next time. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drooling like a little of that. On film. <laughs> that, that's really good. Really good. That's you like, mean science made this? For real. That's 100% more science. I gotta go to school, school more. <laughs>